big, big uh, balance of power news out of Washington. The House Judiciary Committee has cited White House Chief of Staff Josh Bolton and former White House Counsel Harriet Myers with contempt of Congress. By the way, when they cite them for contempt of Congress, they're obviously not referring to the existential disgust we all have for Congress. <laughs> Rather, it's Myers and Bolton's refusal to testify under oath regarding Attorney General Al Alberto Gonzalez's <laughs> alleged improper firing of nine United States attorneys. By the way, a little fun fact that uh, I think the kids would love to know. The person whose job it is to enforce a contempt of Congress citation, Alberto Gonzalez! <laughs> mm. So that's uh, just a little thing that... They no, don't do it, George! Don't do it! No, no, it's up! Oh. Things like that always upset him so much. <laughs> but you know what that means. It's time to check in for another installment of our exciting Telenova. Mommy, why is the lying man still in charge of the law? Previously on Mommy, Alberto Gonzalez had amnesia and did not recall his late night hospital visit to browbeat the weak John Ashcroft. Meanwhile, Harriet Myers and Josh Bolton narrowly escaped a subpoena. Will anyone talk about the mysterious fired U.S. attorneys? Will anyone go to jail? And is Dick Cheney still up to his old tricks? Final time, on money. Why is the lying man still in charge of the law? Tonight's episode begins on the land. Oh. Tonight's episode begins at the Senate Judiciary Committee. Where yesterday, because it was a weekday, Alberto Gonzalez was called to testify. <laughs> now, I've said before that Alberto Gonzalez's logic is, well, mind-numbing. But during yesterday's testimony, he became the K2 of obfuscation. So this is not going to be easy. Get some gorp. Fill your oxygen tank. Tonight, we're going to summit this bitch. <laughs> Let's start at base camp with senior Sherpa Pat Leahy de Vermont. The house of Congress certify the contempt citation against former and current officials for failing to appear or comply with a congressional subpoena. Would you permit the U.S. Attorney to carry out the law, or would you block the execution of the law? Mr. Chairman, your question relates to an ongoing controversy which I am recused from. I can't, I'm not going to answer that question. So, uh, uh, unless you have a question about, uh, I don't know, literature, sports, or potent potables, <laughs> You got the wrong guy. I'm the Attorney General. I can investigate anybody but me. <laughs> yes, I think I have an idea what this week's I don't recall will be. I can't respond to your question. I can't, I'm not going to answer that question. Sir, I'm not going to answer this, this question. You know I can't answer that question. I will go back and see whether or not I can answer the question. <laughs> and if I check with the Attorney General and he says it's okay, we'll talk. <laughs> uh, but I have to tell you, it doesn't look good. Right now he's not taking my calls. I hear... He's testifying in front of the Judiciary Committee <laughs> right now. Aren't he blowing it? <laughs> All right, so my guess is we're at... Mm, we're at about 10,000 feet right now. Air's getting thinner. Let's see if we can find anything this brick will answer. How about we know about the nine fired U.S. attorneys. In fact, I'm sure we'll pass their bodies on the way up the mountain. <laughs> but were there any others? I'm not aware sitting here today of any other U.S. attorney who was asked to leave, uh, except that there were some instances where people were asked to leave, quite frankly, because there was legitimate cause. It would appear to many observers that the Attorney General just admitted that some of the lawyers were fired for not legitimate cause. Ah, uh, but watch. Watch Barishnikov dance. So you're saying these were asked to leave because the cause was not legitimate? I'm not, no, what I'm saying is wrongdoing, misconduct. There, there may have been some, there were, in fact, I'm, I'm sure there what, were others. What kind of misconduct? Well, for, and, and I'm not suggesting any of this conduct happened, but for example, an inappropriate relationship, uh, taking action that is where you have a direct conflict of interest to help out a buddy, making a, you know, those kinds, something like that would, I would, I would say would constitute misconduct. And, and there was that, were those specific things involved in any U.S. attorney that was terminated? No. Air 
getting thin <laughs> must go on. What keeps you in the job, Mr. Attorney General? That's a very good question, Senator. 